What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, folks, I have an awesome photo for you and it's of the moon. Now you're going to need your magnifiers and your jeweler's eyepieces because you're going to want to check out every little detail in this photo. Now I decided to go into my external hard drive because I have stuff that goes way back. This moon photo, and I'm not really sure exactly what Apollo mission it is. Uh, I have an idea, but I don't know and I don't have the link to that particular photo. I'm going to try to find that for you folks. But nonetheless, when you see the enhancement of what's really in this photo, it will blow your mind. This thing is awesome. There's only one other photo that I have done an enhancement in, and it shows what looks like structures or machinery or whatever it may be. This one is no different. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see the photo right here. Again, I'm not sure I have an ID number at the top there, but I don't have the actual Apollo link, and I want to try it. Like I said, few folks want to try to get it. Now, you would agree that it doesn't look like there's a whole lot in this photo, but I promise you there's a whole lot more in here than you can imagine. Look at the background of this. Around here in the midsection, all the way in the back, there's gray in the back here. What makes anybody look at this photo and say, wow, that looks so realistic? It's I'm going to show you right now exactly what they're doing to this photo. They pretty much doctored the whole thing up, censored it out. Let's just get into Photoshop. I want to show you this. Okay, so here is the photo. And again, this is my side-by-side. -side. I'll show it to you in a second. Let me show you this. We're going to go into black plate, which is a raw part of the photo. Select it over here and go into black. Now, folks, check. <laughs> this, is, this is wild. Between the parts of the rover, do you see that? That is absolutely crazy to me. Okay. They tried to go around every bit and every part of this rover to block out what they don't want you to see. You can see they actually went into this right here, the actual dish on the rover. Okay. You can see where they right here. You can see where they actually went like this here. And it literally goes into the wheel of the rover, smeared over here. Folks, look at this. This is absolutely incredibly sanitized. They don't want you to see it. They're going to do their best to hide it. It's as simple as that. Even around the crosshairs, you can see that. Let's go over to this little hill. What is going on here? So we have some decent details here, right? But check this out. Again, we don't want you to see it. You're not going to. Not too bad here, but then comes back down. Complete information taken right out. All of this right here. Folks, come on. The whole photo's like this. Little pieces of information here. They're leaving in. Little pieces of information. The rest of it is completely doctored up. Let me get rid of these lines again. Check that out. You can see what they're doing. People say, well, that's compression artifacts. They are intentionally made and placed over the photo. So these are what I call imitation compression artifacts. You can see this here. Perfect example. Right inside there. Nice detail. And then what's going on with the rest of the photo around it? That's it. That's all the detail you get right there inside that box. Look at this. This is, a, this is just crazy. Here to the left. Same way. You can see that. Here. You can see the little bit of detail they want to leave in this photo. And I'll tell you what, a good, I'd say at least 90% of this photo, if not 95%, has been completely covered up. You can see that. There would be no reason at all to cover something up if there's nothing here to hide. It's as simple as that. All that is right here on this hillside, this slope, if you will, right here. Look at it all. You can see it in between these rocks and everything. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Check that out. Anything they don't want you to see, it's gone. It's as simple as that. So they leave little bits and pieces in there. Ah, yeah, it's nothing more than a rock. And I'm just looking at this piece right here. Does this. I'm going to take the lines away. Check that out. Right there. Yeah. This machinery, folks. It's what it looks like. Now, let's go into the actual photo. The whole photo here. Okay, we're going to go back to the original raw photo, the CMYK. Right there, you can see there is color, no doubt. 
you'd be none the wiser. You say, there's nothing wrong with this landscape. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. And clearly, this has been sanitized, completely taken out anything they don't want you to see. Now, this is the same thing they've been pulling on in the Mars photos, where it looks like, well, look at that, from this astronaut right here to all the way back here. Oh, nice flat land. Maybe there's a little bit of hill here. Not too bad. It's what's right here, folks. That's crazy. Okay. Let's just slide it over the right and see the enhanced photo. This will blow your mind, folks. This is cool. Back out of this. Get a better overall. Again, folks, pause this any way you like. Have a look with your magnifiers or eyepieces. It doesn't matter. And I'm talking about little bitty pieces like this here in the center of the photo on this rock, on this bottom of this rock. You can see that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Check this out. Here's what's crazy. Here's another part right here. If you're looking at this right here in the middle of the photo, it looks like it has like a concrete platform. You can see that. It's almost like it rolled up on there and it's a perfect place to park this thing, right? But again, we're looking at Aries in here. Look at the little pieces. And I'll sharpen this up a little bit for you folks in a second. Look at this right down here. It has this kind of scrubbed out area. But notice the actual details in this thing. I'm going to do this freehand, so this is kind of crazy. But anyway, a little detail in the center of this thing. Now we're going to go to the left here, where there's so much more to see. Folks, have a look. What is going on over here? I'll tell you exactly what's going on. This is the real reason why they went to the moon. Okay. Let's do this. Take a little bit more of the color out. You can see that. Shopping it up a hair bit. Now you folks can look at it a little bit better with your eyepieces. This is what they're trying to hide in here, folks. This is the reason for all the little compression artifacts overlaid the top of this photo. And you can see that. This is the reason why. I'm going to go black and white, fully enhanced. Have a look. Again, pause it here. The amount of stuff in here, folks, is crazy. Absolutely insane. Look at the smallest little details, like this piece right here. I want to put that back in color for you, folks. Notice this little piece straight going like this and then sloping down. And it's underneath whatever this thing is. White pieces they didn't take out. And then the other objects right here. So we already have the lines. I'm going to show you these right here. We already have this line right here. And this area right here. Where they had taken that out. We'll slide it over here to the original. Right here. But what people don't realize is objects hidden in here. So then you have this line that they drew. So this is what you're seeing. Like there's a little space in between the top and bottom. Top and bottom. So when you slide it back over, you can see the defined area where they've done that. That doesn't mean there's two separate areas. This all may be one piece or structures, what, call them what you like, could be all on top of each other. There's very large structures. What I find interesting about this, this is not too far-fetched. It's pretty proportioned as far as size with the astronaut, folks. Check this out. So if you look at the astronaut right here, if he was to walk back down here, He's probably, if I had to guess, he's probably about this tall. So whatever this thing is, roofs or whatever else. Now, what there was video, the old video, where it had, it looked like they were walking in and out of these structures. It kind of has that weird look to them, just like that. Put the color back in a little bit more. And you can see that. It's absolutely insane, the amount of stuff that's hidden in this photo. Black and white again. I'm going to show you the, the whole photo right here, folks. Right there. Have a look. Slide it just like this. Keep it right there for you folks. There you go. Then we're going to go color. That's sharpened up a little bit. This is color not quite as sharpened. Again, pause it right here. Have a look. And we'll sharpen up, take some color, sharpen up a hair a bit. And again, black and white. Now, 
going to put it back in the color a little bit. Now I'm going to go back to the side by side. A little bit more right there. Right there. Folks, have a look at this. Again, folks, you can see why they were really there. There you go. Folks, again, when I see this particular photo, it blows my mind every time. I've got another one that I had done a while back, and is what looks like machinery next to these so-called hills. And again, I think those are templates thrown over what they don't want you to see, and this is what you're seeing. So to me, again, they weren't there for just rocks and dust and some, maybe some core samples. Now, don't get me wrong. That was just for the public. That's all it was. Oh, look, we're up here for rocks and everything else. This isn't this cute and all this other stuff. Now, some people believe that we haven't been to the moon, and that's fine. They say, well, Kubrick did it. You know, he may, And that may be true to hide what they were really doing on the moon. Okay? So even if this is true, because you see them, you know, they're playing around in the moon buggy. They're throwing up rooster tails, flooring the thing, and throwing dust in the air and having a good old time. No. What they were really there for, you did not see. The other question is, why is the other astronaut way back taking the photo of this astronaut? Think about that a minute. What would be the point? Wouldn't you rather be close to him while you're doing these sample uh, testing, whatever it may be? Wouldn't you like to just be right there? Why pull way back unless you're trying to show people back here at down on Earth a size reference compared to the rover, or well, not the rover, but the moon buggy, call it what you will, the moon buggy and the astronaut compared to the objects in the background. That makes more sense to me. This is the reason why this guy is way back. And I'll just show you that real quick again. Right there. Why would you be winging way back unless you were, again, you're trying to get a reference size and distance from, because you can see these crosshairs. There's a reason for that. So between each crosshair, there's a distance. They know that. The If they zoomed in on the camera or they did not, they can tell, okay, boom, this far apart. Distance-wise, if they did zoom, they can tell by the calculations of the camera. They can tell pretty much how big these things are. Or get a good guesstimate, right? For me, that's what I'm saying, folks. They've been doing this. They never stop going to the moon, even after these Apollo missions. Can I prove that? No, just pure speculation. But if you have these kind of things on the moon, you're not going to stop going. It's as simple as that. You're going to continue to go up there. You're going to put a base up there. You're going to continue to... Check these things out, research them, find out what they're made of, why were they there, so on and so forth. It's just not going to stop. And they say, well, we can't go back to the moon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they can. They probably have a base and they just go back and forth and you would never know it. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious as to see what you see. Don't forget to like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more coming up. Stay tuned. You're going to love these. Till then, peace.